Hey, welcome to Covering the Basics with Burning Rubber. Today we are going to be looking at basic rock drum fills. First fill, I'm going to get right into it. The first drum fill we're going to be doing is a simple quarter note drum fill across three toms, a snare, and a kick drum. So, first I'm going to play this to speed, then I'm going to slow it down and talk about it. Okay. Nice and simple. Da, 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 da. Okay. So. To slow it down a little bit, it's going to sound something like this. It's a one measure drum fill. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. It's real simple. You've got that snare on the 1 and. First tom, 2 and. Second tom, 3 and. That floor tom down here is going to be the 4 and. And if you want to, on uh, beat 1 of the next measure, you can put a kick drum there. So 4 and 1, like that. We'll play it nice and slow for you guys again. Notice I put that bass drum on beat one to lead into the next measure. Let's do that one more time. Let's talk about sticking for a second. The sticking I'm doing for the strum fill is just a simple right, left, right, left, right, left. Or no, I'm sorry, right, left, yeah. I, I did say it right the first time. I apologize. We are leading all those first quarters on the one, two, three, four with the right hand and all of our ands on the left. So instead of alternating between the toms, you're going to start each tom with a right hand lead. So you're going to do, imagine a drum set up here. You're going to do one and, two and, three and, four and. All with the right hand lead. Okay, so with that right hand lead, take that over to your drum set, and again, nice and slow, you're going to do one and on the snare, two and right hand lead, first tom, three and right hand lead, four and with the right hand lead. So that's, that's each, uh, that's each count of the measure. That one, two, three, four is starting with that right hand. Let's do it one more time. Again, remembering you can put that bass drum on beat one. It's up to you. Let's play it at the speed real quick and move on to the next one to give you an idea what it sounds like. Let's put it with a drum beat real quick and we'll move on to the next one. Let's pick it up a little bit. Let's move on to the next drum fill. Next drum fill is a really simple drum fill between only your snare drum and your floor tom. Uh, you can do, if you have two floor toms, you can put it on your first, second, third, however many you have, whichever floor tom you choose. Personally, I like doing it on my first floor because right now I only have one. I have my 16 right here. It's got a nice deep sound to it. So for this drum fill, again, we're keeping it simple because this is meant to be basic drum fills. It's a little more difficult than the first one, but not by much. We're still going to be keeping that eighth note pulse, the...
except those right hand leads are going to be placed over on the four tom on one and three. So if you play that all on your snare drum, it'll all sound the same. The one and two and three and four in. Except with this drum fill, we're going to take that four tom with the right hand and place those four tom notes on beats one and three. Now you probably see that a lot in the bass drum when you look at sheet music for a drum set. You see your bass drum is being played on the one and three and the snare is on two and four. <laughs> See that a lot. Snare two, four, bass one and three. All we're doing is instead of playing that bass drum, we're using that floor tom. So I'll play it slow. Remember, we're going to be starting off right away with that floor tom because that first floor tom is going to be on the one. So we've got this. You hear that? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And that sticking pattern is going to be the same. You're just alternating those eighth notes. Same way. One. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Except the only different thing you're doing is putting that four tom on one and three. I messed that up. Got that? Makes sense? Let's pick the speed up a little bit. Now this is a really cool groove I like to use when I play really fast. So I'm going to give you an idea of what that sounds like real quick. Just a little idea of what it sounds like when you learn that drum fill. So, or you can do the sweep. But we're not talking about sweeps right now. That's for another time. So let's put this drum fill into a drum beat. Give you an idea of what it sounds like. Let's start off nice and slow. Pick up the tempo a little bit. Now again, when you do that four top that that drum fill right there. The putting the bass drum with the floor tom is completely optional. You can leave it out or you can put it with it or you can just put that bass drum on beat one to help with the next measure. It's up to you. Moving on to the final drum fill of this video. We are going to be talking about your rack toms. No floor this time, just the racks. So, again, this is going to be another drum fill based on the eighth note drum pattern. Again. Okay? Except we are going to be doing a on the two and and the four and we're going to be putting toms. Okay? So using that chord, that, I'm sorry, that eighth note pulse, I want you to start off on the snare drum. The first two are going to be on the snare. Second two high tom, third set snare, four and will be on that second high tom. So I'm gonna play it nice and slow. Again, remember these are eighth note pulse. Let's get right into it. No 
notes, note how I evenly spaced my eighth notes across the drums and kept it smooth and even. And I put that high tom, two in, second high tom, four in. So a really simple drum beat, or drum fill you could say. So I'm going to pick up the speed a little bit. Sounds pretty cool, right? Kind of has that uh, march feel to it. Remember, I mentioned that eighth note pulse. That's really going to help. Counting that in your head will really help. Just counting that silently in your head. One and two and three and four. And that's going to help you stay on time and give you a good feel. Okay? Because the goal is to feel. Again, bass drum on one, completely optional. So let's do this one more time. All right, now that you've got that, oh, I forgot to talk about sticking. We're doing the same right, left, right, left with the right lead for the toms, same as last time. So. Right hand lead, right hand lead on all those corner notes. Okay, let's go ahead and play the slow and put it with a drum beat. I messed that up. I apologize. Let's try that again. Now you've got an idea, I apologize for that little mistake. I'm so used to playing my drum fills like normal, just I completely forgot the point I was trying to make for a second. I got into what I would normally do. So let's pick up the speed a little bit and give this drum fill another shot. I thought I'd have a little bit of fun there with my bass drum. So, those are three easy drum fills that you can incorporate into your drumming if you're a beginner and made advanced. And it really doesn't matter where you are because here's the thing about these drum fills. You can use any drum fill you want at any point in your drumming career. Some people may laugh at you if you're an advanced drummer and you're using a fill like what I showed you guys. But here's the thing, they shouldn't laugh because any drum fill can be used in any situation. And that's the cool thing about drum fills is they can be rearranged, they can, things you can add to it, you can take away. Whatever you have to do to showcase your style of drumming. And uh, I want you guys to use these drum fills, put them into your drumming, use them, add them to your skill base, and get a good idea of what you can do with them. Maybe. At some point, you will update that drum fill that I showed you and add something to it, like a triplet pulse, or sextuplets, or 30 seconds, and change it around a little bit and add to it. So, take these, put them in your drumming, and rock on.
do a little bit of playing before we get out of here.